Welcome to this week's edition of the Weekly Spartan Sports Report. I'm your host, Sean Murphy. Let's take a look at Spartan Athletics. The women's basketball team will be in action Wednesday night in Berkeley against the 22nd ranked Cal Bears at 7 p.m. On Sunday, the Spartans lost 66 to 61 to the visiting pioneers of Denver University. Shauna Ridge scored 15 points and Chastity Shavers added 10, putting her in double figures for the seventh time in eight games. Spartans were led, though, by transfer standout Samantha Merez, who had a season high 19 points. The men's basketball team will take on Cal State Bakersfield Wednesday night at 7 p.m. over in the event center. Great tickets are still available by calling 924-SJTX. Then it's back on the road to play at UC Irvine on the 18th. On Saturday, the men picked up their first road win of the season with an 82-74 victory over Utah Valley University in Orem. Five Spartans scored in double figures for the second time this season, led by Adrian Oliver's 17. Kyle Thomas had a career-high 15 points, and Chris Oaks registered a double-double, scoring 12 points and pulling down 14 boards. The women's gymnastics team that finished 14-1 and last year will have their blue and gold exhibition this Saturday, the 12th, at 5.30 over in Spartan Gym. Featured in the meet will be the WAC Freshman of the Year, Floor Champion, and NCAA Regional Bar Champion, Thomasina Wallace. The Spartans will look to reach the NCAA Regionals for the third consecutive year. And in football, junior safety Duke Iannaccio earned first-team All-WAC honors for the second straight year, making him only the third Spartan ever to earn first-team honors twice. His brother Carl, along with Justin Cole, Kevin Jurovich, and Philip Zavala, received second-team honors. If you have a Spartan on your Christmas shopping list, don't forget to check out www.imspartangear.com for all your shopping needs. Or if you're in the San Jose area, stop by Mosier's Limited in the lobby of the Fairmont Hotel for a full selection of Spartan merchandise. Well, that concludes this week's edition of the Weekly Spartan Sports Report. Don't forget to log on Wednesdays to sjsuspartans.com for new episodes. This is Sean Murphy, and don't forget, go Spartans! And I'm joined now by Brittany Baim from the women's soccer team, the WAC champions from the regular season. First of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, so where are you from? I am from San Ramon, California. It's in the East Bay. Okay, so uh, favorite food in San Ramon? Um, it definitely have to be pasta pomodoro. It's an Italian place. I love it. So what, what do you like to get there? I love that place. Um, gnocchi. It's like a little pasta dumpling. They're delicious. <laughs> Excellent. Now... The, the team had so much success this year. Do you have any superstitions and things in, in preparation for a game that you still, to this day, question why you do them? Um, yes, and it's dancing. Um, before every game, home game especially, we uh, put on Jock Jam's Mega Mix. And I, myself, and Nina Butero, another senior, we would dance in front of the whole team. And it really got the girls ready to go, ready to step on the uh, field and play. So is, is that your favorite kind of music, or do you have a, a different artist in mind for favorite? <laughs> Before games, it's that, but I usually listen to a country like Garth Brooks and stuff, so I'm a country girl. Awesome. Garth Brooks is good. Can't go wrong with Garth Brooks. For dancing in the locker room, you know, soccer player, what is your favorite kind of show? Like, what, what type of shows do you like to watch? I have to admit, it's definitely reality TV, um, like Tough Love on VH1. It's uh, it's pretty honest, so it is about love and girls, and it's it's pretty funny, entertaining. Okay, well then let's let's go the movie route. What what's your favorite movie? <laughs> um, Twilight. <laughs> yeah, I know, typical answer for a girl my age, and I've read all the books as well, so kind of addicted to it. My team makes fun of me, so. <laughs> well, I guess it's better than Harry Potter. <laughs> Okay, so you've had a very successful career at San Jose State. What's the next step for you? Um, I'm actually moving back home after this semester, and I am going to connect with my old uh, soccer club and do some training and some coaching with some um, teams and also pursue a career path in elementary school teaching. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so what, what words of inspiration can you give the soccer players that, that are going to be here next year after winning the regular season title in the, in the WAC for women's soccer? What, what can you tell them going into next year? Um, 
accountability. You have to work hard. Um, it's all on you. And then once you do your job, the whole team will be able to do their job. And it goes by really, really fast. So enjoy the memories and the time that you have with everyone else. Great. Thank you so much. Well, that was Brittany Bame from the WAC champion women's soccer team. I'm Sean Murphy. Last night, the Spartan Foundation General Board held its annual holiday gathering across the street here in the Simpkins Stadium Center Gold Room. We said goodbye to outgoing President Sharon Wills, thanked her for her two years of service and leading us to over a million dollars in fundraising last year. And we said hello to incoming President Pat Smith. Most of you know Pat Smith. She had a successful run as president of the Alumni Association. And as always, when Pat Smith takes a leadership role, you get a twofer. You get Luke Leavers in the bargain. Senior Associate Athletic Director John Poach, Assistant Di Director of the Spartan Foundation Paula Minklin and I are really, really excited to have Pat on board. She has put together an outstanding fundraising calendar for the board to consider for 2010. We think it's going to be a banner year. Don't forget, it's not too late in 2009 to donate to the Spartan Foundation. Remember, you donate to the Spartan Foundation, you assist student-athlete scholarships, you get a nice tax write-off. And also, if you're 70 and a half or older, you can still take a direct distribution from your IRA to the Spartan Foundation. doesn't show up on your 1099. Just give me a call, 924-1198, or go online, sjsuspartans.com. Go Spartans. <laughs>